Ladies and gentlemen, the recipient of the 44th Annual AFI Life Achievement Award, John Williams. First of all, what an amazing evening this is. There certainly are no adequate thanks for AFI and to all of you for coming tonight. When Sir Howard rang me about this event, uh, my first thought was, actually, I'm really much too young for a thing like this. <laughs> I am very happy to be here tonight as the first composer honoree, and I can think of many deserving colleagues in the past who would have certainly been wonderful candidates for this. I owe a great deal to these men, and I owe a great deal to film, certainly. Music is like architecture, sculpture, and so on, thousands of years old. And film is the new kid on the block, 100 years barely. And though we will watch its evolution carefully, side by side with the art of music, I am enormously grateful, as all composers are, to film for giving us the broadest possible audience worldwide that any composer has ever enjoyed. I, uh, I'm certain that Beethoven would have shunned it, but Wagner would have had his own studio out there in Burbank <laughs> with, a, with a huge water tank with a W on it. And I really want to mention some of the great directors that I've worked with. George Lucas. George Lucas, certainly a genius. George, you've given me the greatest opportunity in the broadest canvas to write themes for characters. Luke Skywalker, Darth Vader, Anakin, Luke and Leia, The Force, and so on. For the first film, George, I even wrote, you'll remember, a quite heated love theme with, with, a, with a melody and a development section and a torrid climax thinking that Luke and Leia were lovers. <laughs> and, and I found out two years later that they were brother and sister. <laughs> and uh, you, you will know that Stephen and I have worked together for I don't know, 43 or four years, something uh, amazing. And it, it's like a perfect marriage. You know, we really have never had an argument of any kind. And it is a testament to this man's humanity and his loyalty and his patience and his very good taste. <laughs> I, I have a favorite Steven Spielberg story that I want to share with you. And that has to do with the film Schindler's List, which you will all remember. And Steven came back with his film to show me the first cut, as he always does. And we went to his projection room, and the purpose of this was to see the film and then discuss the music for the film. And you'll remember the film. It's the story of Oskar Schindler, who's a German civilian who protected and employed potential victims for the Holocaust. A powerful masterpiece of a film. And the film ends in the state of Israel, you'll remember, and the survivors and their children go to the graveside of Oskar Schindler to place stones on the graveside to honor the memory of, of Oscar Schindler. And the lights came up and the film was over and it was time for Stephen and me to begin to talk about the role of the music. And I was so overwhelmed by the film, I really could not speak. And I went out and walked around the building for a few minutes to gather myself and came back in to start the meeting with Stephen. And I said, Stephen, this is truly a great film and you need a better composer than I am for this film. And he said very sweetly, I know, but they're all dead. <laughs> 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 
to the AFI and its members and all guests tonight for coming. My heartfelt thanks for this indescribable evening. And once I get over being stunned, I will treasure this night always. And tomorrow morning, when I'm back at work, I will try to deserve all of this. Thank you all very much.